That was we'll that on the Welcome everybody. Thanks this for... is level two, and you guys have requested to do a super cinchy song, um, "Deck the Halls." And so this is a fabulous Christmas carol. It says <laughs> at the top of the page, "Traditional Welsh Carol." Well, yeah, um, it dates back to the 16th century. The melody itself is Welsh. The English lyrics, okay, so the English put the lyrics to it, in 1862. So a lot of times those, these old Christmas carols, um, somebody writes a poem and somebody puts it to music or just the opposite. There's a melody over here in one country and then somebody over here decides to put a poem to it and that's how they become Christmas carols. So we have the great Deck the Hall. Um, I didn't even check song setup to see if it was in here today. I kind of doubt it because this is one of those fabulous songs that you can just play on anything, anything. The only thing you can't do this one on, nope, it's not in here. Um, the only thing you cannot do this on is a waltz. And I'm sure somebody out there can probably figure out how to do that too. <laughs> um, David, I tried this on disco. Oh, <laughs> it was really nice. Yeah, this really could become nice. a Yeah, this is also one of those that Mannheim Steamroller um, did, and it, it, it was close to the disco thing. But you could also do something very traditional if you've got jingle jangles or if you have sleigh ride. I happen to be on a fanfare, and we can even do the Willie Nelson version and just put it on country. Country. So if we put it on country swing... And style setup. Now remember, let's review chords before I even play this. Okay, our, our hands only go right here. C on the bottom, D, E, F, G, B on the top. You never go outside of that little area right there. You can play every single easy, easy play chord known to man right in here. You want to take these two fingers, put them up into these black keys just a little bit, so now you have bumpers so that your hand is not roaming around. Why is that important? Because eventually this becomes your typing hand. And your typing hand you don't have to look at. So that's what we're going for in the left hand. C, F, G, and everything in between. And we will go over the chords that we have. There's very few that are going to be hard in this song. But I'm going to play this song just for fun. All right, this is Country Swing, and you can pretend that Willie, Nail Willie Nelson is singing it. That's it. That's the whole song. So does it have to be played that fast? Absolutely not. And when we first start out, we are going to slow it way down. But like I said, this works on a lot of things, like disco. Here we go, David. This one's for you. to a whole new sound or and play it a hundred times if you want. I <laughs> worked well. Yeah. Disco actually was one of my favorite rhythms on this. Yeah. But you can do anything. You could do a march on this. You could do your sleigh bells on this. Um oh East Coast Swing Jive. I'll bet you that one's actually pretty good too. You could just go through your whole organ and go, okay, what can I do that's gonna be different? What's gonna be cool? So pretty much anything you want on this is going to work. 
Rock and roll worked very well, by the way. Your rock eight beat. <laughs> Anything you want at any tempo is going to work on this one. Don't try your waltzes, but this is going to give you a chance to go through and try some of the rhythms that you normally wouldn't use. And maybe you're going to come up with a new recipe. You might want to try it on Latin and see what happens. Works well. So whatever you want to do, a pop shuffle. Okay, now that being said, once we have the, the background that we want, let's just go back to disco because I really did like that one. Okay, now you, not only can you use what's in your style setup, and that synthesizer was pretty cool, but now you can also go to your categories and try some other sounds. First of all, go up and down all of you, the setups that come with that particular rhythm. So I'm on disco, and you might want to use a flugelhorn on the bottom over here. It says strings duet on top. So you try other things because you might come up with something that you go, ooh, that's it. And then you can write down all of your, your fun things on your music. Here's one that says flute, duet, and trumpet. Remember, we're still on disco. A trumpet on the bottom. Okay, once you're done with that, then you go to your category setups. And for those of you that have category that has the bells, absolutely that should be the first one you go to. Now on your fanfare, you have one called symphonic. And symphonic number zero is orchestral plus bells. And that was the best Christmas one I could find in your category setups. Okay, so let me start at Don We Now. Okay, so there's your strings and bells. Now, why is that good to find that in a category? Because now you know you can use symphonic preset zero, it's in the zero slot, with any rhythm and any song. So that's a really nice Christmas sound that you can use. If you need to go up into your bells, they're probably going to be under mallets. Mallets. You have bells. Let's take off the solo. Let's take off my strings. You have bells. You have church bells. And these are good to use for any of your Christmas hymns. Your crystal bells. Your hand bells. Then you have steel drums and a go-go bells. <laughs> you have a wood block and you have a xylophone. You also have vibes. Do not forget, vibes also work as bells. If you have a smaller organ than a fanfare, see me after class. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, the year easy four has has two. You have bells and yeah. you have vibes. Okay, you can't use them at the same time, but you have bells and you have vibes. So you find those and you can team them up with, with strings, you can team yes. them up with an organ, you can team yes. them up with vocals, and then you can use that combination with or without harmony with any background, yes. with any yes. rhythm that you choose. And remember, this is just a nice upbeat tune. So any of your, any, any of your fun rhythms are going to work. There's some songs I do very well with, with, with the instruments as a different sound. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Christmas does not have to be about bells. Christmas can be about any sound you want it to be. It can be about horns. It can be about um, your orchestral sounds. It can be about piano and strings. So whatever it is, or country guitar, or fiddles. So as, as if you come to Wednesday's class and you come see Christmas in Killarney, you'll find out. <laughs> I'll be there. Yeah, all those Irish sounds we're going to use. It's a lot of fun. Um, let's go over the roadmap. Guess what? <laughs> there isn't any. You just play it. And if you uh, now there are repeat dots on pages two and three. And all that means is you just can keep repeating that last verse forever and ever. But the first verse and the last verse, it's all the same. It's absolutely all the same. They actually wasted paper on this one because they could have just put it all on a page, basically, and repeated it a hundred times. You can change your presets. Every time you do another verse, you can change your presets. So please feel free to do that as well. Let's take a look at the chords. They are super easy for most of you. It's, uh, it's, let's turn off your background in just two chords. Pinky on C. Thumb on G. Now you have an optional G7. It's outside of the box. Remember the rule for sevens is the letter minus two, two to the left. So it's F and G at the same time, pointer and thumb. Now why is a seven chord even important? It's a lead-in chord. The function of a seven is so that your ear is waiting for the next chord. And nine times out of ten, that G7 is going to go to a C. But you do not have to play the seven. It's optional. If you just want to play the G, that's fine. Back to the C. G back to a C. Line three, super easy. G7, C, G. C, G7, C. Wow, what's hard about that? Pretty easy stuff. Last line on the first page, you have an A minor. Remember the rule for minors is the letter plus three to the right. So if I go to my A and go one, two, three, I'm gonna go right outside the box. One, two, three. I went to the C outside the box. So what I'm gonna do is put that C right back in and play it in this wide stance like this, C and A. Every time you have an A minor, it is C and A. And you can write it in, because cheating is okay. After a while, your fingers will automatically start to go there. The D is just fourth finger on D. If you wish to play the D7, it is the letter minus two, or C and D. Remember, that's a lead in chord. Nine times out of ten, you're going to a G chord. You're actually going to a G7. And that leads you into the C. Then we have an F chord, a C chord, a G7, and a C. That's it! The chords are super easy. So what makes this song a little tricky, if anything? The tempo. Because if you really want to play this right, you got to keep that tempo nice. You don't want to yeah, drag it. You don't in, want to drag it version, down. Go in ahead. My version, in my version of 215, they do show advanced chords. Like it goes, the first is the C. What you, the very first line is C, and then it goes G7, C, G, A, M. Wow. Uh, G and C. Yeah, so wow. it's got all the advanced in it. Yep. Well, this is only level two, so we're going to keep it easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, I know, and I like that. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Now, if you, those of you who have that version, 
please feel free to try some of those chords because the more you push yourself, the easier it gets. All right, so let's do some fingering. We've got, we've got in the first line, we've got a dotted quarter note going to an eighth note. All that is is long, short, long. And you play it exactly the way you sing it, so no worries. G5, F4, E3, D2, C1, D2, E3, C1. See, your hand is even in that Jingle Bells position. Nice and easy. Fa la 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 is D2, E3, F4, D2, E3, D2. Second line, C1, B2. Do not go thumb, thumb, poke, poke. Do not, if I see anybody doing this, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to reach across the screen and I'm going to slap you. No, nope, it's... Stop teasing. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, crossover. Now, you can do one of two things. That next C can either be a, a one again, or you can do a one, two, and pivot and put the three on the C. Whichever one falls there first, because now we are at the end of a sentence, and we are going to lift our hand. So if you want, you can make a little check mark and take a little breath and start that phrase again. Tis the season. G5, F4, E3, D2, C1, D2, E3, C1. Third line, D2, E3, F4, D2, E3, D2, and here we go again with that same one, C1, B2. Put a circle around the B, that or the 2, because that means you are crossing it over, and then this, the last C can either be a 3, or you can just rock it back and forth and do 1, 2, 1 whichever one feels the nicest for you. Don we now our gay apparel. D2, E3, F4, D2. Next line, E3, F4, G5, D2. Now we come to what I consider the hardest line in the song. Fa la 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 la. It's the easiest one to sing, but you've got a lot of notes, and so you're going to have to do a thumb tuck someplace in the line. So if you end with D2, I decided to just continue and do E3, F1 with a circle. Now it is an eighth note going to another eighth note, so it's a little quick, but it works. Two, three, F1 with a circle. Tuck your thumb. G2. A3, B4, C5, and it takes you right to the top of that phrase. B4, A3, G2. Now, if that line is going to give you some problems, make sure you do a little finger exercise and just go over that line. And just do that line again. Pretty soon it'll start flowing naturally. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to come to that phrase and go, uh-oh, I'm going to run out of fingers, what do I do? Because it's a lot of eighth notes in there. Let's go to Troll the Ancient Yuletide Carol. G5, F4, E3, D2, C1, D2, E3, C1. And the last two measures, there's actually two different ways to do it. You can do A4, 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 G3, F2, E1, D2 with a circle. You're going to cross it over, and then C1. That's probably the easiest way to do it because then you're all set to start again. Or you could have done A5, 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 and one more A5, G4, F3, 
E2, D1, but you're still going to have to do a crossover, so then you're going to end up with C2. Either one of those works and works well. So whichever one your fingers feel most comfortable with, that's the one you should choose. And then you can do, go back to the beginning and do it all again, or you can continue whichever way you want to do it. All right, any questions about fingering? Any questions about rhythms? No, nope. you can use basically whatever you want. You could use a gospel rhythm. We can do a southern gospel style here. Okay, it's only going 100, but it sounds like it's a little faster because you've got all that stuff going on in the background. So if you need to keep it slower, that's what I would recommend, is choose something that has a lot of stuff going on in the background so it still keeps it upbeat and light, but you can then move your fingers a little slower. 100 is a little slower than what we were doing at 158 on the country swing. Now, that comes up on that organ. If you don't like that, what's the first thing you do? Try your setups. Piano, mellow sax, two guitars, gospel organ, fiddles. Make it sound a little Irish. And again, because it's got so much stuff going on, That actually works pretty well. Or if you want to keep it really traditional, you've got choir in number five. So as traditional or untraditional as you want to take it. Now if you don't like anything that's in there, that's actually pretty nice. Number eight gives you one called 1999. And then your rock and roll guitar on the bottom. Also remember, you've always got your category setups, and we found out that symphonic number zero is the nicest, in, in my opinion, it's the nicest Christmas sound in the fanfare as far as your, your setups. Okay, so that's your homework assignment. Always work left to right in this case. You always want to make sure you find the right rhythm style or music style first. And you can use several of them and many different tempos. So don't feel like you have to lock in a tempo. You can try many different tempos and see what works for you. And then you start with your style setup or your rhythm preset. Try your presets. If you don't like that preset, go to the lower keyboard. You might have something nice on there too. The next thing to do is go to your categories. Try your category sounds. If you're not happy with the rhythm, find something else. You've got lots of them. And you might just want to keep a little notebook on this case because if you start writing all your favorite rhythms on here, you're going to have a bunch of them. <laughs> 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 because it works so well on so many different rhythms. All right, let's try playing it. I'm going to go to I'm going to go back to my disco cuz I really like that. But we're going to slow it down. John? Yeah. Is that the end of the song because in my book it's got uh, I got another four and two third lines. That's the end of the song here cuz then it goes into See the blazing you'll be for us. Yes. And that's the second verse. Oh. That's just the second verse. It, okay. Everything, everything repeats. So everything I just gave you is the whole song. Got it. Yeah. Then if you want to continue, you can take all those, letter, those numbers for your fingers and just write them in because everything just repeats. That's or level two. you level can just two go back and happen. forth, just go back and forth and just do verse one. Play it again, verse 2. Play it again, verse 3. Because it's all the same. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah. This is also a good one to try doing 
medleys with other songs. Now, how do you do a medley? And I know this is only level two. All it means is playing more than one song, one right after the other, and the easiest way to do it is find the same rhythm, the same tempo, and the same key. So you could use jingle bells very easily on this. So you could do deck the halls, and when you're done with deck the halls, go right into jingle bells, and you'll be fine. That's a good one to go right into. Or joy to the world would be a good one to go into, and we already did that one in this class too, because that's also in the key of C. So once you finish with, oops, I slowed it down too much. Let's go back to the original. See how you can just do the same, you can just keep on going. Mm -hmm. So same rhythm, same tempo, same key. That's the easiest way. And just don't worry about, just go from one song to the next to the next. So there's three that you can put together. Joy to the World, Jingle Bells, and Deck the Hall. They're all in the key of C. And they're basically all upbeat, so you can use the same tempo. All right, if you're sitting by your instrument now, we're going to play... Deck the hall, and we're going to play it at 80. We're going to go super slow. So do not put it on a rhythm. Do not put it on, on uh, put it, do not give it a tempo. Only put it on easy. Make sure you're muted if you're going to play along. And then you can play one hand at a time. This one's one that you should be able to start getting the two together because it's not that difficult. We'll take it nice and slow. I'm going to count to four, and then we'll try it. One, two, three, four. And then you can do fill-in or drum solo. All right, fill-in's easy. How do you do a fill-in? You can either kick to the right, or if you've got a touch bar, you can do the touch bar, or you can touch the fill-in or the FX, or you can do a drum solo in between verses just to keep it fresh. How do you do a drum solo? A no chord with a fill-in. Yeah. And that just gives you an extra kick. And then you can go into, that also gives you time if you're gonna change a preset or push some other buttons so you can go someplace else for a different sound for the next verse. So either a fill-in or a drum solo, which is the no chord with the fill-in. All right, let's try this one more time. We're gonna play the song. I'm going to count to four. One hand is all you need. Let me count. One, two, three, four. I'm going to count to four. We'll do it again. One, two, three, four.
questions? See, you guys are level two, but you are adding quite a few songs to your repertory, and I'm telling you, people are not going to know that they're super easy. Always yeah. play the easy ones when your friends come over because they don't know. They don't know if it's easy or hard. You don't have to do the hard jingle bells that's in the Black Lottery Songbook. You can do the easy one that's in your yellow. Back to Conductor Magic, book one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just keep it as easy as possible. Your friends have no clue if it's easy or hard. <laughs> but they'll have a good time singing along with you. My daughter plays the piano, and she's sort of surprised when I pick out the tunes I play on the organ. <laughs> there you go. See? Yep. It sure is fun, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right. Next week, I will look for Old Christmas Tree or Rudolph. I'll look for both of those and see which one I think is going to work the best. Um, because it is actually the last class next week before Christmas. And then you guys get to vote. On um, the last week of the year, you get to vote if you want to do one last Christmas song or if you want to move into, you know, go back to regular stuff or whatever it is that you want to do. So, you know, keep that in mind, and we'll vote on that next week when we get to next week. You guys are the bestest. If there's no more questions, Ellen, if you need something, make sure you email me. And uh, thank you so much for coming today. It's always my thank pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> really enjoy it. Yeah, I love this hobby. It's the world's best hobby. <laughs>